In this tutorial, I'll guide you on how to deploy a WhatsApp bot using Hugging Face. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or someone looking to automate tasks on WhatsApp, this video is for you. Hugging Face makes deploying a bot straightforward and efficient, and in this guide, I'll show you step by step how to set it up on their platform. With a WhatsApp bot, you can unlock incredible features like anti delete, scheduling messages, viewing weather updates, and over 150 other functionalities. Imagine automating tasks that save you time and enhance your communication efficiency. And the best part? Hugging Face offers a powerful platform that lets you do all this with minimal effort. To begin, you'll need a Hugging Face account. If you don't have one yet, creating an account is simple and can be done either on a PC or mobile device. Navigate to the Hugging Face website, click the, the Sign Up button, and fill out your details. Once your account is created, you're ready to start setting up your WhatsApp bot. After logging into your Hugging Face account, locate your profile picture in the top right corner of the dashboard. Click on it, and from the drop-down menu, select New Space. This action will take you to the Create a New Space page. Here, you'll configure the basic details for your project. Start by giving your space a name. The name can be anything you prefer, but it should relate to the purpose of the bot. For example, I'll name my space Testing. Next, you'll find a section for adding a description. While this is optional, I recommend adding a brief explanation of what your application will do. For instance, you might write something like, this is a WhatsApp bot that automates messaging, scheduling, and more. Descriptions help keep your project organized, especially when managing multiple spaces. The following field on this page is the license. You can leave this field blank unless you need specific licensing requirements for your project. After completing these steps, move to the Space SDK drop-down menu and select Docker. Hugging Face offers several SDKs, but Docker is the most versatile for our purposes. Once Docker is selected, you'll be prompted to choose a template. From the available options, select Blank. Hugging Face will then allocate resources for your space, including 16 GB of storage and two virtual CPUs, vCPUs. These resources are more than enough to run your WhatsApp bot efficiently. Finally, decide whether your space will be public or private. Public spaces are visible to anyone on the internet, whereas private spaces are accessible only to you or members of your organization. For most use cases, a public space is sufficient and allows for easier collaboration. Click Create Space to proceed. After your space is created, you'll be directed to a new page where the files for your application will reside. Initially, this area will be having no application file, except for two default files. To add the necessary files for your WhatsApp bot, locate the three vertical dots on the top right corner of the page and select Files. This will open a menu where you can upload or create new files. For this tutorial, we'll upload pre-configured files essential for the bot's operation. I've included a link to download the files I will be using in the description box below. Download them to your device and return to the Hugging Face interface to upload them. Once you click on Add File, a page will open where you can drag and drop the files or just upload them from the Media Picker or from File Explorer. After successfully uploading the file, click on Commit the files now in the bottom of the page. The files will begin to build automatically. You'll see logs displaying the progress of the build. If everything is configured correctly, the logs will indicate that the application is running. Now that the bot is set up, link it to your WhatsApp account. To do this, open the QR code scanning page. I've provided a link to this page in the description box. On this page, you'll have two options, scanning a QR code or using a custom session ID. The QR code option is the most straightforward. Simply scan the displayed code using the WhatsApp app on your phone. This process links your WhatsApp account to the bot. If you prefer more control, you can opt for a custom session ID. A session ID allows you to reconnect the bot to WhatsApp without rescanning the QR code, making it ideal for long-term setups. Once the linking process is complete, return to the Hugging Face dashboard and click on Settings. Scroll down until you find the Variables and Secrets section. 
This is where you'll add the critical variables required for your bot to function. Start by creating a variable named session underscore ID in all capital letters. Leave the description blank and paste your session ID into the value field. This variable is crucial for maintaining the bot's connection to WhatsApp. Next, create another variable named a VPS and set its value to true. This variable configures the bot to operate in a virtual private server, VPS is mode, even though we're using Hugging Face as our hosting platform. Depending on your specific needs, you can add additional variables, such as API keys or custom configurations. I've included a list of optional variables in the description box below. After adding the variables, the application will restart automatically. Once it shows the status running in green, your WhatsApp bot is live and ready to use. At this point, you can start exploring its features. The bot comes equipped with over 150 commands, enabling you to perform various tasks. For example, you can use the anti-delete feature to retain messages even after they're deleted, schedule messages to be sent at specific times, or get weather updates for any location worldwide. These features make the bot a powerful tool for both personal and business use. Note that, if the application stops for any reason, simply restart your space from the Hugging Face dashboard, and remember before you restart, you should scan the QR code again and re-enter the session ID in the variable if yours is not a custom one. If you're new to WhatsApp bots, I recommend experimenting with the commands to understand their capabilities. You can start with basic commands and gradually explore more advanced features. The learning curve is gentle, and you'll quickly discover how versatile and useful the bot can be. For additional guidance, check out the list of commands included in the description box. These commands cover a wide range of functionalities, from managing group chats to automating routine tasks. With a little practice, you'll become proficient in using the bot to its full potential. Congratulations! You've successfully deployed a WhatsApp bot on Hugging Face. This powerful tool can transform the way you manage communications, whether for personal use or business operations. With features like anti-delete, message scheduling, and over 150 other commands, the possibilities are endless. If this tutorial helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay updated with my latest content. Make sure to watch the next video on the left of your screen. If this one amazed you, the next one will blow your mind with even more incredible tips and tricks on top features of this bot, they are well explained and I'm sure you will easily learn how to use them. See you in the next video.